In this problem, we have a ladder propped up against the wall as shown below. The base of the ladder is sliding out at 2 meters per second, and we're asked to find the velocity at the center of the ladder, point G. So we're going to start by putting in our coordinate system, X and Y. Then we're going to list all the things that we know. So we know that VB has to move along the floor. It's going to be 2 meters per second in the I hat direction. We also know that VA has to fall down along the wall. So that's going to be minus the scalar VA in the J hat direction. We're going to assume a direction for omega AB. We're going to assume it in this direction. And again, our math will tell us if we've got this right, but just looking at it, we're going to be able to tell that, that the positive direction is the correct direction. So we're going to solve this using ICZVs. For the f first, we have to find the ICZV graphically. So we go from the point B, draw a line perpendicular to the velocity VB. And then from point A, we're going to draw a line perpendicular to that velocity as well. And here at the intersection point, that's the ICZV for this rigid body. Great. So we can write that VB equals omega AB cross R B with respect to the IC. That's a bit simpler than using the relative motion equation because this is a fixed axis rotation equation. We can see pretty straightforward uh, our value for R B with respect to the IC is going to be minus 4 meters in the J hat direction. And so we can find omega AB. We'll write 2 I hat meters per second equals the scalar omega AB in the K hat direction crossed with minus 4 J hat meters. So we'll have 2 I hat meters per second equals and K cross minus J is going to be a positive I for omega AB in the I hat direction. That's going to give us a value of omega AB, the scalar, equal to 0 0.5 rads per second. Great. So that angular velocity is true for the whole rigid body. Now if we want to find the velocity of g, what we need to do is draw a line between g and the ICZV. And perpendicular to that line, that'll be the direction of Vg. So we can write that Vg equals omega AB cross Rg with respect to the IC. Rg with respect to the IC, because it's halfway here and halfway here, we're going to find that is minus 1.5 I hat minus 2 J hat meters. So we know omega AB, that's 0 0.5 rads per second in the K hat. We can cross that with minus 1.5 I hat minus 2 j hat meters. And when we work that out, that ends up being Vg equals 1 i hat minus 0 0.75 j hat meters per second. Thanks for watching this video. Find more videos and material at Mechanics Map.